In this video, we'll see how to carry out the one proportion Z confidence interval for the TI-83 and 84. The instructions for the two calculators are identical. Here we start with an example from Advanced High School Statistics by Open Intro. And we have Deborah Tuhui is running for Congress. And 52% of the 500 likely voters who were sampled support her. So our P hat, our sample proportion, is 0.52. We're doing a one proportion z interval. We check our conditions. We have n p hat and n 1 minus p hat are greater than or equal to 10. We're going to assume that we have a simple random sample. And then we're going to construct our confidence interval. So we have p hat plus or minus z star square root of p hat 1 minus p hat over n. Here we have a 90% confidence interval. So to find our uh, z star, we can pull up a t table. And we have a confidence level of 90%, so we want this column. For z star, we always use row infinity. And so that's where the 1.645 comes from. And now we have everything set up, so we can grab the calculator. And we can do stat, tests, and we're going to do 1 proc z int. So let's go over here to stat, right arrow to tests. Be careful not to use Z interval. Whenever we're working with proportions, we need the word prop in the name of the test. So we want one prop Z int, which is A here. Hit enter. X is how many yeses were in the sample. We know what proportion of yeses were in the sample. That's 0.52. But we need how many. So we have to multiply the proportion, 0.52, times the sample size of 500. So this will give us 52% of 500 is 260. So this is how many yeses were in the sample. X has to be an integer. So if you do this product on the calculator and it doesn't come out to an integer, make sure you round it to the nearest integer or you're going to get a syntax error. So X is how many yeses? 260. N is the sample size of 500. So we enter that there. Here, make sure to enter the desired confidence level. So 0.9 or 0 0.90, and then hit the down arrow and do calculate. And we get our confidence interval. So this looks like 0.483 to 0 0.557. So in this case, we're 90% confident that Tahui's true support lies between 48.3% and 55.7%. Is there evidence that her support is greater than 50%? No, because 50% is contained in this interval. If the entire interval were above 50%, um, as in an interval from 0.52 to 0.58, then we would have evidence that her support was greater than 50%. But in this case, it's inconclusive. That's it for this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching.